I think I was going to stop eating. <laughs> stop eating this ice cream just so you could put that on. Uh -huh. <laughs> Believe it or not, the reason, oh. the reason we were late is because uh, we got stuck in the queue at Costco for the strawberry sundaes. Mm. And there was no way we could go to Costco and come back without an ice cream for Carleen. Oh, oh. it's so good. Because it just wouldn't have been right. Mm. Do you have your phone? Sorry to interrupt you. Is your phone here? Oh, oh. it's around. Maybe, my maybe, phone, my... maybe in your bag. Oh. I've, I've yeah. had it today. Yes. No. I have had it today. You did have it today, that's right. Oh, no. I got it over here. Oh, for goodness sake. It's in a pocket. It's in a pocket. <laughs> well, you're lucky oh. I, I wasn't rummaging through your pockets. Oh, there you go. Thank you very much. There we are. So you were okay. all right. So apologies for being late. Oh, goodness gracious. So, it's only Monday. Doesn't no. feel like Monday. Feels and like... I'm already up to Thursday's galleries. <laughs> Excellent job. <laughs> Absolutely ah. nothing wrong with that. Mm. So we've had a very busy day today. Uh, you and Janine, gosh, what time did you get back from the lawyer? 2.30 in the afternoon. We were out. It took a long time. Does take a but, long well, time. Well, I wanted to go back and listen to Janine. She thought she was bringing me home and dropping me off. And wait a minute. I am going to miss all the fun. Oh, right. So you stayed. Excellent. But meanwhile, while you were having fun, you Harley and I were also having fun. Oh, really? Yes. We went to Brentwood. Brentwood? Yes. We saw about 30 or 40 people because people kept coming in and out. And it was super. We were outside. Oh, really? Yes, we were. And we saw such lovely people and the staff are fantastic. And we took Sizzle. This is on the corner of 62 and 128. Yes, right on the corner. Yeah. As in... Yep. As in you turn and, and your your GPS is just catching up and it's like there and you're like aha. Mm. So we took two chickens, we took Sizzle and we took Wanda. What a riot we had! Really, the chickens were just loose, loose on somebody's shoulder, mm. um, somebody's legs. Chirpy was just wandering around on the ground. I got there and this person came up to me and said thank you and took Sizzle's leave and I went. Right, okay. So I, ta I tailed her for a little bit. She seemed to know what she was doing. And I was like, have a dog. And so she took Sizzle round. This is one of the people that lives there. She took Sizzle round and introduced her to all the residents mm -hmm. and the staff. And that was wonderful. And Sizzle was actually quite happy having a person to introduce her to everyone. Yeah. And Wanda just did her merry sweet thing. And <laughs> Kurt. Carly walked around with, with Chicklet under her arm and Chirpy was just being a, a totally social chicken. She was passed around from everyone. She was on shoulders. She was Unbelievable. It was hysterical. So that was really nice. You'll be glad to hear they're having a carnival and they want to know how many animals we can bring. You know, the whole I said, carnival. it's not a problem. <laughs> I said, we've got it <laughs> covered. I think most of it. So, uh, so that was really super. And uh, I got you a, a meal from... Brothers, I got you a turkey dinner. I had to put it in the fridge. I got extra gravy. I was just wondering what I was going to eat. Well, it's, you do get your dinner delivered today from the town. So oh. they'll deliver your dinner. But I better hurry up and finish this. Yeah, I know. We're doing it topsy turvy today. And, um, and then you can have that whenever you want it. Mm -hmm. And there's a tub of gravy and a tub of um, what's that stuff called? Cranberry sauce. Oh wow! I know that's why I, I love cranberry sauce. Oh, yeah. So, so that was good. So, mm. so we had a wee day trip out. It was lovely. Oh, is it the husband? Well, it's the husband. I think. Are you coming? Oh, he's bringing your trolley back, which we didn't oh. use. Um, yeah, we need to tighten a few screws on the trolley. What happened? Uh, it's missing a couple of screws. It me up. You broke the trolley. I didn't do anything. I'm just bringing it back from the car. <laughs> it was I did not the the wet. Oh my! Screws on here. Oh, good heaven! 
Yes. Oh, we don't know. Uh, we got it out of the horse trailer like that. <laughs> Oh my word. So, yes. No. Oh, I, and they're quite tricky screws, so we'll have to find them. Mm. So, and there's the, the bit for it. No, that's mine. Thank Wait. you very much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> so, that was an exciting day. Mm. And then we went, Jeannie and I, after after your day in, in Topsfield with the lawyers, uh, Jeannie and I went to Meredith and we. Uh, Checked played. out the animals there. And played with your dog. I um, played with my dog, and we actually took her to Costco because she doesn't like the trolleys. Hmm? I was saying, do you, I was saying to all these people, do you mind if my dog comes up to your trolley? And I said, well, some people were looking at me, and Nick said, they're not called trolleys here, are they? And I'm like, well, what are they called? And he said, carts. I was like, right. <laughs> So we, we tailed people around with all their, their, their carts and the gentleman that stacks all the carts down. And then the lady at the entrance, she said to me, your dog's looking a wee bit hot because she was lying down at the entrance because we were just watching people coming in and out. And she said, do you want to just bring her in? So I did. Oh, yeah, there you are. And then I took her uh, through the checkout line because Janine and Janine... See, that's why, that's why ADI hates me. Oh. There is this group, ADI, Assistance Dog International, and they say you have to be accredited by them to do anything. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not quite true. And to be accredited to them, you have to pay them $1,700 a year. Mm -hmm. And then you can go to conferences and spend money. But they say that if you don't belong to ADI, that you won't be able to get on any airplanes or buses or trains. Or, and that's just plain not true. Mm. So I, I, I have unfortunately said so very loudly, and that, that, that's the point they threw me out. Now, whether they threw me out or I quit, it was debatable, but at any rate, I have taken the, or I will take the mystery out of service dog training. <coughs> service dog training should not cost $70,000. No. Especially when you got Bella with about a dollar ninety eight. <laughs> yes. You know? Mm -hmm. You gotta pick your animal and you gotta prepare your animal, I'll say that. And your animal has to behave perfectly. But that's about as far as I'll go. Because after that, you get yourself a good animal and you're all set. Yeah. You know, they look out after you he he looks out after me mm -hmm. when he got a harness on. It's unbel it's unbelievable. Yeah, because the rest of the time he's a pain in the ass. Yeah, especially when you come over in the morning with your armpits. Right, right. <laughs> um, you know, I I do things I'm not supposed to do. Sandy couldn't walk with one dog. Oh, all right, get yeah, a dog. So now she's walking with two dogs, and she's doing very nicely. But did you get the result you wanted? Yeah. Yeah. Walking. Exactly. You know, uh, that's not the desired. The situation with Assistance Dog International. They look at all the problems that that's going to be. Well, all right, so you go to piano bars where you can put them under the piano, you know? Yeah. Oh, yes, I had know. one of those as well, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Uh, you and I might fall out. We might not be best buddies any longer. Uh, so, we, we, we did a, a tour around to Costco, well, a very short tour around Costco, which was just lovely. And, um, Get out of here. And it was very interesting Where's and it's mine? very busy because obviously okay. it's the fourth coming up oh, yeah. so everybody's there and uh, so we were doing a bit of dog training in there. Janine even went as far as to say, you know, what? we could do this. Janine even went as far as to utter the scary words as, you know, we could do this dog training. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, right. Have you, have you seen our donkey foal? <laughs> He's wild. He's wild. I know he is. So. It's been a very busy day. I know. Well, well you I'm know busy. that I've said that a donkey mm -hmm. is a perfect service animal for a guy who wants to walk in the woods. Yeah. Perfect. They're just like dogs if you work great, right? Yeah, and we've got some really lovely donkeys as well. So, shall I go through the questions? Yeah. Ice cream first. Yep, correct priority. Huh? Ice cream first, that's the correct priority. That's correct. Yes. Oh, that's good ice cream, too. No. 
Oh, Happy Canada Day. Canada Day? Yes. Never heard of it. Yes. Canada Day. Oh. No. Oh, oh, oh. This sizzle actually, and sizzle seemed to quite enjoy this trip this morning, okay. but it was very low key because everybody was sitting down. Huh. And it was in a linear fashion huh. because they were all under a sun canopy. Oh. So she just went down the row and went, hello, nice to see you, nice to see yeah. you too. Uh, so it was, and she went at her own pace with this really super lady. <laughs> they were a fantastic team. Um, uh, which, left me, which left me free to see where, uh, to see where Wanda had wandered off to. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, oh, look, you know what we didn't do? We didn't do the mail. Oh, what mail? What am I doing? I knew there was something, see? I shouldn't really, I shouldn't really go out of sync. Oh, well, I take these ones. The first four. Oh, the first thing I have to hit is this one. What's that one? That's diapers. Oh. Old lady diapers, and I have. Janine came. Oh. Janine came in here this morning. Said, "Yeah, go, we gotta go, 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 go." So I ran in there and I put on a pair of trousers. Yes, your smart trousers. Very nice with that. Before I put on pants, mm -hmm. underpants. Well, now I haven't got a place to put all those pa these pants. Yeah. In. So I take them, something else, and cut it up and stuff like that. Just wore it. It was hysterical. So the whole time I'm sort of shuffling. Know, right. <laughs> it's it's very challenging to be an old lady. <laughs> I don't think I have to open this. I know what's in there. No, they must be thinking you've got ants in well, your pants. I, I got a hoarder, more of them. There we go. You think I can see this? I don't have my glasses. It's a estate taxes. What? Estate taxes. <coughs> really? They put up with the damnedest things. <coughs> Town of Ipswich. Here. There you go. What are we doing here? I can't see. Me neither. Where are your glasses? Because mine aren't here. Are they not on my head, huh? No. Ooh, ooh. No, we was. Oh. I think this is my $26 taxes. $26 taxes is bad. That they get me every year. Why are we short of glasses? Oh no, there's a pair up here. Excuse me, everyone. Here you go. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay, well, let, me, let me just check that one just for good luck. I think that's the one that I have gotten every year. $21. Yeah. And it's because I had a computer. Way back. Way back when it was a Radio Shack computer. Oh, was it? Did you with build a tiny it? little heap of paper that came out, oh, and they tell they thanked me for it. Oh, I hope you've still got it. It's probably worth something. Probably would be. Probably would be. Oh, oh this is real estate taxes. So therefore, this is them or whatever. Yeah. However, that seems to be working. That's not the way I planned it. Yeah. Because the way I planned it was that was just to establish what the taxes would be. Mm -hmm. It really had nothing to do with the land area or whatever. Yeah, sure. But it's gotten out of hand. The whole thing is such a mess. And literally, they are trying to take the property from me. That's silly. It's unbelievable. Oh, I the dental thing. I got I know what the I already have a fifteen hundred dollar dental bill. John Gerhold. Oh wait is it, Jan? How are you doing? <coughs> yes, they have they have made that somebody made that statement that they're trying to take take the property from me. 
Well, they've got their own problems. When they don't even know how to cut the grass. Hmm. That's amazing. Here you go. Thank you very much, Jan. Look at the sticky. Oh, God, yes. President John Tyler had more children than any other president that we know of. <laughs> that we know of. The DNA testing has gotten out of here. Yeah. A survey found that one That one luxury Americans give up when money gets tight is eating out at restaurants. I believe that. Yes. Why did the chicken go to the seance? To get to the other site. Well, I suppose you could. Okay. <laughs> there we go. This is I Hilda. So. Who? Hilda. Oh, well yes. Windsor, Ontario. Yes. Hello. Oh. oh. <clears throat> now, we have some serious talk. Well, I have to do this first. Then yes. that out. You want her address, maybe? No, we've got Hilda's address. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. We know where to find her. Thank you, Hilda. I'll take that as well. Anything unrelated to elephants is irrelevant. Irrelevant? <laughs> You like that stuff, don't you? <laughs> That's because I live with Nick and he does dad jokes. Ugh. Like, what's brown and sticky? I have a pen that writes underwater. It can write other words, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See? oh, God. Everyone brings joy to the office. Some when they enter and some when they leave. <laughs> don't grow up. It's a trap. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Dear Vegans, if you're trying... To save the animals, stop eating their food. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that as well? <laughs> oh, no trespassing. We're tired of hiding in hiding the body. <laughs> oh, goody. Not only did I fall off the diet wagon, I dragged it into the woods, set it on fire, and used the insurance money to buy cat cakes. <laughs> Keep on keeping on, Hilda. Thank you, Hilda. Those are good ones. Those were good. Thank you very much. So, what are you? What were you about to say? I forgot that one. Oh, excellent. Does it sounded serious. What was I talking about? I don't know. I don't know either. Mm. So, yes. Yeah, so Sizzle did have a good day today. She was super. Who? Oh, Sizzle. 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 Yeah. She's exhausted now. She's. Wore out. We did. We wore her out. She did not like going in the back seat of my car. Oh. It's it, because I didn't have all the seats down. I had only one because I had the chickens on the chicken trolley in the back, so it, I only had one side down. So she was a bit like, "This isn't my usual spacious <laughs> setup." It's a tight job. It's, it's, it's getting a little old, uh, and she's too she, fat. But she got there. She got yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. Because Wanda's jumping in, jumping out, jumping in, ju and, and Sizzle's like, give me a moment. <laughs> Poor soul. Uh, that's enough oh, of that God. showing off Wanda. <laughs> who's, who's what, twice her age? <laughs> Little monkey. She is twice her age. She is. Yeah. So do you think Sizzle and Larky miss Ziti? I think Larky does. Yeah. He's a little weird. Oh my she God. is doing so well, though. She's doing fantastic. Though. I cannot. This is why service dog people hate me, and they're going to hate me even worse. I had no business giving that puppy to that kid. 
You know, you don't do that. You don't even start training them until they're 18 months old. Mm. Forget it, fella. I mean, Bella had George, George at nine months. Mm -hmm. And this one I don't think is four months yet. No, she's three. She's three months. Yeah, yeah. she's three. And But the thing is, Bella has had experience of what's needed That's from true. a service dog. She has. And she's had her basic training. And she does walk on a leash, believe it or not. Uh, well, no, she's had more than basic. I mean, that, yeah. sitting and, here I did. And she, you also had her on a harness. Yeah. And she's been taught not to walk in front of people's legs. Yeah. And you did all the spoon training with her. And she is actually capable of asking to go to the toilet. She is? Yes, she is. They're, they're apparently doing all right, so. Yeah, so, Have because she's, remember she started asking to go out the back door. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think she's a damn smart dog. She is, and she's a lovely dog. And she's perfect for Bella to bring on and. Well, I think that it will prove that Bella can train a dog. Yes. And that being the case, we're going to put Bella to work. Yes. Because it's time she paid it forward. Yes. You know? Um, and she's very capable. And she's very capable. Yes. This could do amazing things to our finances if we have to hire her. Yes. We may have to. Yes. So I may be looking for... Uh, there, there, there's a guy, there's a local guy that has a lot of money and gives it away to people and... And we, we've got to get him in line. Yeah, so... And Bella lives in Wolver, the same place where he lives. Right. Uh, what do you want? What do you want? I, I don't want to talk about it right now. I'm very busy. He's a good boy. He's, but remember, we've been out all day. You had ice cream. I don't think I've had mine yet. I know. There was some left of the dish. Can he <laughs> Go. Have it? Can he have no, it? No, it's got strawberries in it. No. Sorry, darling. It was a good try, though. It was a good try. What's your opinion on emotional support animals? What's this? What's your opinion on emotional support yeah, all, animals? All animals are emotionally supportive. Yes. Um, that's not the ticket. The ticket is a well-behaved animal. Now, if you've got an animal that doesn't behave worth a damn, you're not going to be able to go places with it. You no. just aren't. No. If you've got one that behaves perfectly, minds its manners, doesn't get in people's way like he is right now, um, you have no trouble going anywhere with them. I don't think. No. And they're replaced. But it's the, it's the, it's the, they must be perfectly behaved. And your first shot is the canine good citizen test. Mm -hmm. You get through that, then you can begin to talk about going places with them. Mm -hmm. But that canine good citizen test is, is quite extensive. Isn't it? it yes, has it is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you you got you got to be able to do that, and then then. Well, this guy's saying she's been eating candy or something. I know, you're my nemesis now. <laughs> Terrible. You're such a tattletale. He's a good boy though. He's very good. He is very thorough. Who? Thorough. 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 Yes. Thorough. He's very efficient. Yes, efficient. He knows what he's doing. I know, I know, I know. Okay, let's get back to work. Yes. <coughs> so, how was your hearing this morning? The hearing this morning was very interesting. Uh, basically... Get your butt out of the way. Go to bed. Anyway, basically, these people are trying to take away the farm from me. That's really what it all amounts to. It's, it's really ridiculous. Um, uh, it... I can't believe the crap that they're coming up with. You know, back when I started, okay, all right, you want to hear the details. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> back when we start, when I started Service Dog Project, there was a we, and Megan was probably one of the first ones with me. Careful. Um, you know, it was very lax. People handed me 10 bucks or 100 bucks. And I took it, put it in the bag, and that was it. And we mm. just kept going. Uh, did I keep exact records? No. You better believe I did not. I was a dog trainer, first and foremost. And I did not keep 
what you would call perfect records. I don't even know what perfect record look like. But anyway, I did have a, a definite system of everything that came in went into the bank. So therefore, I got the bank to do all my bookkeeping, and it was very simple for me. If I had a repetitive bill to pay, the last three digits are always the date, mm -hmm. which makes life a lot simpler when you don't have the books done right correctly. Um, but now he's trying to say that because I didn't have perfect books, I must have cheated. Well, back when I started, I was pouring money into this thing. A good thirty or forty thousand dollars a year. Yes. Because I spent my own money and then a little bit of my husband's, which became a little bit of a touchy subject. <laughs> but that's all right, we made it. Um, you know, and then it began to grow and everything was fine. And we got into along came Charlie Annenberg with his 300,000 every two years. Um, and we were over the half a million that it takes and you have to hire a big time CPA. Mm -hmm. Not a regular old CPA <laughs> for 50 bucks, but a, a fancy one that gets like $14,000 to do your taxes and it just burns me up. But you have to have the special over half a million, you got to, et cetera. So, and I did that. But then he gets into, well, who gave the CPA the numbers? I don't know. We had a, they were working the QuickBooks, mm -hmm. which I don't like. Yes. I like straight. Give me the bread street. In, mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. you know? Yes. At any rate, I, we had QuickBooks. So the accountant had some woman come in and, key punch the crap into whatever they do, and then he'd do the whatever. Mm. Well, you mean you say that somebody just came into your house and just started key punching? I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, you have lived in my house. They mm -hmm. wander around my house, people stray all the time, strangers, I don't know who they are. Mm. <laughs> I said, the only thing I had on this property was my bedroom and bathroom. Yes. And the rest of it was all service dog projects, stuff that I was doing. Yes. For one thing or another, and uh, I got I got pretty annoyed with him thinking that, assuming that I must cheat, because I didn't write down all the all the deposit slips or all the receipts for two dollars and eighty three cents that I bought an aspirin with. Her. You know, mm -hmm. I just didn't. I was a dog trainer, and I was a damn good one. Mm -hmm. We put out some good dogs, and my whole theory of dogs and management of service dogs was a little wacko as far as ADI is concerned. There's certain things I do that I, they don't approve and they're, they're entitled to, but I don't approve of the way they do it either. Yeah. Well, you take Sandy down there. She had one service dog. She was beginning to have trouble walking with one, but she had a second dog. I said, come on here, get in line. Now she's got two dogs. Mm -hmm. Now she has to go to bars where they have a piano bar so that she can put the two of them under the, <laughs> under the, <table. laughs> under the piano bar. You know, she's doing fine. Yeah. The dogs are behaving perfectly, no problem. <laughs> and along comes Bella, having lost, just lost George, just absolutely devastated. What better dog? I mean, I had that puppy. Mm -hmm. There's no way I could say, well, you go home and come back in 18 months. And I'll, no, take the damn dogs. <laughs> and the beauty of it is, is that Ziti wasn't going out as a service dog. Ziti, um, Bella has offered to train Ziti. Yeah. So it's it's a win-win, really. It's a win-win. It's a win-win, and she's doing beautifully. I don't know what what's going to happen to Ziti or Bella or me. Yeah. But at any rate, I played it by ear. ADI doesn't like that. Yeah. And he, the, the, today, Lynn had this 10... I have a list about all these things that she was supposed to do to me, to wipe me out of service dog project. Don't talk to her, don't let her talk to your employees, don't let her talk to the... But is that not because you fell out with the woman that runs the ADI? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I just, you know, I, I, now I see where Lynn got a lot of this stuff. And, and Lynn is not known for 
being too creative, so she just took their word for it. If they said she was supposed to not speak to me, then she wouldn't speak to me. Don't let her near the puppy, don't let her talk to the You know, all these things listed by ADI of how Lynn was supposed to treat me. Right, on your own property. It, yeah, it, come on, I mean, who said they have? And the problem was, I was out there in the world saying, you don't need to belong to ADI, you just need to put out good dogs. Yeah. You know, you put out good dogs, you'll have no trouble. Yes. You know? It's ridiculous. And I have good dogs. And the, the president of ADI has said, you have good dogs, it's you that's the problem. Well, that, <laughs> and doesn't, that's that, doesn't, that doesn't quite um, add up, though, does it? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm too verbose. I mean, I, I tell them what I think. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I tell them what I think, do and they use, don't like it. Do you use your nice, gentle words? No. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. No, and I also don't use the that goddamn general leader. They, they all are using it now because they're not training the dogs. You know? Yeah, the thing that goes over their nose. Yeah. No, you don't need that. All right. There's there are times you might. It's a tool. I have had I've had to use it twice on my dog. Right. One was a woman that walked into the cemetery with all the squirrels. Right. And then the other one was a kid who went to college where they fed the squirrels. Ah. And she, they only, both of them only had to use it for a couple of weeks. Right. And then went back to yeah. the regular. Because the dogs ate it. Yeah. So I see all these seeing eye dogs out working like crazy. Mm. And they're all depressed. Mm. That damn thing on the nose. I'm sorry, I don't like it. And the dogs don't like it. No. So there, lady. I wouldn't like it over my nose either, <laughs> would you? Oh. Well, any rate. Lynn had a list of all the things ADI was t telling her to do with me. But it's none of their business. And I know it. What makes them think they are entitled to tell me what to do? I don't know. I don't either. But hey, they're giving you something for free. They're telling you what to do for free. You haven't had to pay $1,700 a year. <laughs> yeah. They won my $1,700. But the thing is, you're not part of ADI. You have no inclination to be part no. of ADI, so it's neither here nor there. And, you know, and... and, and I once was. Yeah, I know you were, but my understanding of ADI regulations is that you have to either have a 10-year lease or your own property to be able to be considered for ADI membership, at which point when service dogs go to wherever they're going, if they've got their 10-year lease and or they own their property, that's fantastic. But... How does that apply here? So why are the are the stipulations? How does it apply to how the dogs are trained? I don't know. I'm not Come a dog on. trainer. Let's go back to the mission statement says. What's our thing? Do we know? I don't know. Okay. Our our mission statement is different, sir. Yeah. Uh -uh. But you know, if you if you're in a if you're in a five hundred one c three, there's a mission statement, and that's what you're supposed to behave to. Yeah. Well, I saw, Not anybody else. Well, I actually saw your, your mission statement um, that was created all those years ago um, in a document. And it, it says basically train the dog. Yeah. To a high and standard. Give away free. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. With, so, first, I mean, with preference know, going I don't have a problem with that. No. Thanks for that. I don't have a problem with that. And for Sheila, Sheila O'Brien, who's the leader or was the leader of ADI. To have said, we have never had a problem with any of your dogs. They are wonderful. Mm. What else do I need to be? I don't know. She said, shut your mouth. <laughs> well. She said, it's you and your mouth. Sorry. They're I'm putting out good dogs, they're honey. Kind, they're kind of surgically attached, really, aren't they? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. It's not well, there are, it amazes me the people, the people that will go along with her and think that you have to be ADI and you have to do all these things ADI, but you don't. You have to put out good dogs. And I, they've got a problem with these dogs. But you know what? It takes a lot of confidence to stand alone and go against maybe the tide. Well, I and, know. And That's what I'm doing, though. Yeah, I, I know. But, you know, you've created Service Dog and you, you've started it with a vision 
an, an emission statement and you, and you adhere to it strongly. And the thing is, I think that it's all changed now. And what, you know, but you had the courage of your convictions and, and the strength of character to do it like that. Yeah. And sometimes when, you know, somebody down the road that's got, you know, retrievers is doing it this way and they're ADI, and everybody chases all these little ticky yeah. boxes. And, and it's a difficult thing. You know, to I think the real criteria, what are the dog rides that you're putting out? I don't know. Yes. Uh, well, all is... the ones I've seen from ADI have that no nose thing on. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what that. I don't know what that's about. So and I'll... if you compare that to the same type training in Montreal, mm -hmm. none of them have it on. Is that right? I have a picture of ten dogs. Mm -hmm. From Montreal, no, yeah. no layers, no, no nose thing, and everyone from, mm -hmm. and it's just a lack of training. Yeah. Okay, now what do you want? Somebody sent some goodies from Amazon, and we haven't found them yet. I'm terribly sorry. I was a wee bit late up the driveway. We'll find them though. What are we doing? I'm looking for a package. I'm always looking. Oh, for I got a package. Oh, where did you put it? No, that's Chewy. It was on my car. It was on my... I don't know where I did it. It was to you, too. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big square thing. Oh, Cute. the big brown thing. Brown. That's oh, brown. brown. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's planters. No. Nah, nah. very heavy. Nah. No, they're plastic planters. Oh. For them, they're plants I'm growing. Right, okay, I'll give you the punchline. Here is Nick's joke. What is brown and sticky? Stick. A stick. That's one of his very favourite jokes. Oh, yeah. That's terrible. He loves it. And you know, it's so bad, we just laugh. Because it makes him happy. Very happy. Oh, God. He's got several jokes in that vein. Oh. And then he's got some very, very off-colour ones. So we'd rather he stuck with the basics. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. So you broke my my chicken wagon. I didn't break your chicken wagon. It came out of the uh, the horse thing like that. Huh. <laughs> well, you see, this is the beautiful thing, Marilyn. Is Ziti gone for good? We don't what? know. Is Ziti gone for good? I don't know. We don't know. And oh, she, no, she'll be back. Yeah. I mean, she'll be back to talk to us, I think. Yes. Eventually, I bet you Bella's going to have a few questions, maybe for me, maybe. Yeah. I'd like to feel I was being useful, yeah. but maybe she won't. Yeah. At any rate, I'll out for another dog. I need another puppy. I don't think Big Dee's coming back quick. <laughs> so I am looking for another, preferably Harlequin female. Right, Carlene is looking for a puppy, okay? Not me, not Goldie's, Carlene. <laughs> That's right. Now, along those lines, I am told that starting August 1st, we are not going to be able to import yes. under six months. Now, I'm also told by Claudia Bohemia, mm -hmm. which is where I want to buy the dog from in the Czech Republic, mm -hmm. she says, no, we can get around that. Shh. So <laughs> she has a way of getting around. I said, fine, line it up. Find it up, have me a puppy, and I'll talk to you later. Excellent. That's a good job. So apparently there is some way to squeak out of it. So if all of you would please look into that with for me and figure what she's talking about. You probably don't put it online. Somebody's out there. Oh, oh what's your dinner? Hold on. Larky? Oh, oh thank you. Hello. Thank, thank you, you very you. much. Look. Well, dinner. Look, you've got a 4th of July I cookie. A, I got a cookie on top of it. Oh. No, you have to no, go. It's not everybody yours. just sees you a big butt. Get out of here. We'll see what it is, though. Yeah, we're gonna look see. Go away. Larky, bed. Go on, go to bed. Yes, bed. Oh, look. It's fish. Fish. That's wow. A lot of fish. Fish. We need some mayonnaise. Yep. We can organize that. Yeah, okay. Wow. Well, white fish. Lovely. And then a cookie. And a cookie. Oh! Oh, the cookie. cookie's gone. <coughs> Larky gets extra love everywhere he goes. 
He is not missing out on the, on the ZT love, I can tell you. Now... Okay. I don't I don't have any no no nothing for nothing in the good one. Get out of here. Oh. Get out of here. <coughs> no, the farm's actually secure. What? The farm is secure. I don't know. We're all secure. Get out of here. <laughs> the best thing is they've got somewhere to go. It's going to be built to the standards that they want with yeah. bells, whistles, and it will be perfect for them. Yeah. And and that's wonderful. But they can train. And they can be amazing. And they can go there and be happy. And we will just continue what we're doing. We'll be able to expand. And if somebody's expanding into training, it's well, not our fault. Okay, I have another. I have another. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> Ready for this one? Oh. You know, I got into service dogs, you know, pretty blindly. Yes. And the concept of producing one dog for fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars and have one person walk that that's beginning to get my that's beginning to get on my nerves. Right. I think I'm so much better off having two or three dogs and entertaining five thousand people mm -hmm. for the same amount of money. Yeah. And improving their living conditions. Yeah. Um, so I've kind of gotten away from it, although I can certainly do it, and I think I can train a service dog at the same time as I'm doing this other job, but the job of, of Goldie's Farm is going to be, I think, bigger than service dogs. Well, you know I am not part of the dog division. I am horses and things. He's a jackass. I'm a jackass. And I love it. And um, and but I do fill in when people can't go out to do these jobs. Yeah. So I don't do it day in, day out. But every single job that I've had the pleasure of being on, the amount of joy that the variety of animals that we take out brings to people. I know it is unbe and unbelievable. It, it, it's, it, it's one lousy chicken. I know. It's you know. Honestly, we're going to have to find another chirpy and give it to. Give it to Carly to train. Yeah. It's just it, it makes such a big difference, and and people are they just brighten up and they're bright and, and they're, they're bright for days and they engage. Yeah. And then we're getting to a stage where it's when can you come back? And you know this place today they can't come here because they don't have transport. But you know we keep going there. We're we're there on a regular basis, yeah. and and it's a fantastic thing. And. Yeah. That's what the animals love it. And there was one example. Do you remember when we were down there at the weekend on, gosh, was it Friday? Or, must have been Saturday. No, it was Friday. On Friday, we went down and we had visitors. And it was two of our uh, board members who are, were, are on Meredith ordinarily. They brought um, they brought family from Germany and family from here. Oh. Remember? And they said, can we take out the too many horses? So we took out the too many horses put them over at the grass in the shade at the swing set and there was a variety of ages of people and it was wonderful. Now who do we normally take out when the mini horses go out? Clark, the yeah. donkey. Yeah. Clark oh, was right. trying to get out. He was calling, he, he was, was then mad. shouting, he was furious that he was not out doing his job with the two mini horses because he normally goes out with either delight or he goes out yeah, with flour. He, he was he was a riot. He was a riot. He was. He was trying to. He was chest bumping the, the, chest fence. Bumping the fence. He was shouting. He was shaking his head. He, he went to. He, he went to the enclosed. You know the enclosed uh, shoot door, and all you could see was his ears going from side to side. That's an animal that wants to do his job. These animals, they love it. They go oh. out and they yeah. engage with these people. It is just what they know to do, and and it's wonderful and. So it's not just a, so these are these are our rescue animals who are getting a, a chance to do something that, that they enjoy and and with purpose. Yeah. And that's the most wonderful thing. And the dogs go in and people's eyes just light up. And I mean today I was having to bring Wanda over because everybody wanted to pat her. Yeah. She likes men, doesn't she? <laughs> 
funny. She's a funny girl. And yeah. it's just, it, it, it's it's heartwarming. It really is heartwarming. And, you know, it's it just takes a bit of effort from, from everybody involved, and it, it's lovely. It, it does. There's, there's a lot of background effort that goes into this, but it's not all that devastating. It's not that much. It's not as bad as going to a horse show or a dog show. No. Because there, when everything goes wrong, it's funny. <laughs> Exactly. Stuff goes wrong on a horse show and you don't get a ribbon. But do you not think that a lot of it is because the people that are, are, are all, we're all thrown together under goldies, you have to have a sense of humour. Oh, well, yeah. Because you're working with animals and let's face it, nothing goes straight. And, you know, and if you can get somewhere on time, something, something's gone badly wrong and you've had to skip part of the day. Because you never get anywhere on time when you're working with animals. I, I know. I have a problem with that because I do like to have us show up on time. Well, we were on time today. Yes, and we I usually are. And I even gave the lady the 10-minute uh, phone call to tell her that we were just about there. Okay. Um, because these people have... They're on a schedule, and if they get all these people lined up in a room ready to sit and look at animals and we don't show, that's kind of a bad thing. So yeah, I do like to have us really make the effort to be on time. Yeah. Now, with that in mind, I have a blood thing tomorrow morning at 8.45, and I don't know what the job is tomorrow. What's the job tomorrow? What day is it tomorrow? Oh, gosh, what was the second? Rainbow, adult. Rainbow. No, it's a farm visit. They're coming here. Oh, okay. So I think Carla was going to take you for your blood. Okay. And, and you're going to take here. the rainbow here. And the rainbow come here. They're at 10.30. And then we've also got the Henny Penny. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah, so oh. we'll get that sorted. Oh, boys. Well, first we got to get the thing down. Yes. Oh, I can't believe you just said that. I shouldn't have said that because I'll have well, to get it down. I know. You got, there's the stick over the corner, and you put it up on that end, yeah. and you lift that end up and push it just a little bit here so it gets caught under this one. Right. Okay. And then I'm all set to bring it down when I want it. Okay. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Oh dear. And it doesn't go all the way, if it goes all the way to the ground, it's up against the, it doesn't fall, it'll, it'll stay on the rafters. Right. It's all very carefully planned. Yes, it is very, we should, it's whether it's not as carefully executed the problem. We, we should, we should <laughs> film that. Yes, well that's it's, it's very scientific. It's it is very scientific. Mind. Oh. Well, so ZT was actually uh, donated to us. Who? Um, and Martha was just asking whether or not you can get another dog where ZT came from. There are four more there. Yes. But when I saw them, the, the, the other eight did not have very good rear ends. The, the hawks were almost hitting. Yeah. They were snarly, snapping. They had been fed in one dish, you know, when they're all pushing each other around. Yeah. I saw food aggression coming. This this dog was out by herself. Mm -hmm. um, and I like that. Mm. And my father said she's either dying or she's good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Ziti was a junkyard dog, actually. <laughs> yep, literally. Yeah. That's our car lane. Paid for, mind you, by Nick. Nick. Did you know that? Yes, not my Nick, because no. otherwise I would have known about that. Right. Well, you've got to write him a letter. <laughs> yes, I will. I know I said to Janine about it. That doesn't mean you did it. No, I didn't do it. She's got the letter. Okay, you... who's going to make sure it gets done? I will make sure she does it. Okay. <laughs> yes, that was very nice of him to do. It was. And he's keeping his eye open for another one for us. Excellent, thank you. So yes, that was Carly, our chicken whisperer of two. <sighs> yes. Yes, thank you, Ed. Ziti and Bella Burton are doing well. And we are very impressed and very grateful. Thank you. That's a nice dog. It is. She's a lovely dog. Yes, it was Nick that drove Carlene up to New Hampshire, wasn't it, to get her? Yep. There we 
go. Oh no, there wasn't trouble on the farm on Saturday. Shep comes down because um, before every uh, court appearance or uh, discussion, um, you always have you speak with your counsel. So he came down for. Uh, Sometimes he comes just to be sociable. Yes, so he comes down for. Um, he just lives around the corner. Yes, I know, poor man. <laughs> My neck will um, get uh, Janine. They'll get the problem. Myself will get the solar lights up when we get a moment. Nick is actually finishing. He's finishing off his his paid work uh, so that he can hopefully take time off this week. Oh. Nick, the husband. Yeah. Yes, that one. They're asking <coughs> when he's going to put up all the solar solar lights. Oh. Uh, That's not his type job. No, Janine normally. He goes down and videos them at night that time when they go in. Yes, do that kind of thing. <laughs> Let's just make sure that we use our personnel to our best advantage. Yes. And if we don't need his... Well, he's making, either, he's making money right now. That's his best well, advantage. Well, okay. So if either he's making money or we need to lift something heavy... Yes. ...that we don't necessarily need him. No. Um, Nick and his favourite fluffy boy are just fine. Nick and Noodles. Yes. Oh, yes, what a pair. Okay. Right, that's you. You can get on with the fish. Fish. Yes. So thank you very much, like everyone. A it's a very generous portion of fish. <coughs> right. Are you going to find me? I'm going to find, find your mayonnaise. And heat it up a little bit, maybe? I might even heat it up, if you're really lucky. I'll not heat up the salad, though. I'm tired. What? I'll not heat up the salad, though. I don't know. Blah. Right. See you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.